Hello, hello, church seekers all over the world. This is Matthew from Back to the Covenant. Hope you're having an amazing day wherever you're at in the world, whenever you may be watching this. So it is June 2022, and unless you're living under a rock, I'm sure you are well aware that they have nominated this month as Pride Month. So a lifestyle that scripture calls an abomination is being glorified and thrown in our faces all over the place. Any way they can do it, they will. We're going to cover a few of them. One thing that is crazy about all this nonsense is that the community represented in Pride Month makes up less than 2% of all the overall population, specifically in the United States. I'm not sure about around the world, other countries and whatnot, but probably similar or even lower. But since they complain the loudest, they get their voices heard more than others and because Satan controls the airways as well. So let's see where Paul talks about that in Ephesians 2, 1 through 3. And you were dead in trespasses and sins in which you once walked according to the course of this world according to the ruler of the authority of the air there you go he controls the airways the radio hollywood whatever you name it all of the above let me read that part again according to the ruler of the authority of the air of the spirit that is now working in the sons of disobedience among whom also we all once lived in the lusts of our flesh doing the desires of the flesh and of the mind and were by nature children of wrath as also the rest so here are just a couple examples i am gay I am my authentic self. I am a queer woman. I am a transgender woman. I am a lesbian. I am gay and I'm my authentic self. I am NASA. 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 Yes, of course I had to include NASA in this video because they are partaking, like many companies and organizations, in the sinful festivities and promoting sin. What about Disney? How about the new Lightyear movie? You know the one that was banned in over 14 countries because of a certain kiss that occurred in the movie between two female characters? The movie was produced by Pixar Studios, but since Disney owns Pixar, they have blood on their hands with this one. They're pushing this agenda very hard this month, especially on networks like ABC, which just so happens to be owned by Disney as well. If you're still giving Disney money and you're a Torah keeping believer, I would highly recommend reconsidering doing that because they have been promoting sinful abominations for decades. So what about companies that produce food items? What about Oreos? So according to people.com, this is the name of the article. Just got a short snippet from it. And the name of the article is Oreos New Pride Cookies Come Stamped with Proud on Top. Oreos embracing the rainbow this June. The cookie brand will celebrate the, you know, all the letters plus community next month by dropping an official retail pride pack in partnership with Key Flag National. It's the third. It's the third year Oreo is teaming up with P Flag National, the largest organization for, you know, all the letters, plus people, their parents and families and allies. And in the spirit of love, the pack is designed to be personalized and gifted. Here's what the cookies look like. If you look them up online, this is, you'll see pictures like this. So before going any further, we must recognize that the people living and promoting this abominable lifestyle have some demonic strongholds that need to be delivered of. This is spiritual in nature. I think everybody has demonic strongholds in their lives and we all need to seek the most high for deliverance, but in particular, this lifestyle, there's no doubt. So let's go a few chapters from where we read earlier to Ephesians 6, 11 and 12, just a couple verses. Put on the complete armor of Elohim for you have power to stand against the schemes of the devil because we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities, against authorities, against the world rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual matters of wickedness in the heavenlies. So just remember, when you see this lifestyle promoted on TV, movies, etc., it's a spiritual problem. So back in the past, when I worked at a mental hospital as a mental health tech, that was my... Periodically, I would talk to a counselor that worked there and tell him that they never touched the spiritual side because that was the root of the problem. And he agreed with me. And we talked about this many times. And he was on board and he was totally on board with what I was saying. But he couldn't do that. He couldn't bring religion into his job. Or that would be, adios amigo. Here's your walking papers. <laughs> 
Mental illness was a physical manifestation of the demonic possession. The only solutions they provided at the mental hospital was, come over here and talk to me about your problems or take this pill that will help calm you down. Or sometimes they juice them up with a cocktail and knock them out if they're acting crazy, crazy enough. There is a channel here on YouTube that hosts different debates on a number of topics. And they literally, yesterday, had a debate between two gentlemen with the title, Is It Okay For Kids To Go To Drag Queen Shows? That was the name of the debate. That's absolutely mind-blowing to me that there's even a debate on that. There shouldn't be. There should not be. They have been working on sexualizing kids for quite some time now. And Disney's at the forefront and has been for decades. So let's see a shocking news story from June 11th of this year. And it is a New York Post article. The title of it is over 200k being spent on drag queen shows at NYC schools records show. So here let me quote from it real quick. Quote, New York is showering tax payer funds on a group that sends drag queens into city schools often without parental knowledge or consent. Say that's uncool is is a gross understatement. And in the article there's even some parents of the kids that are in that school system that are outraged as they should be. Even as parents in the other states protest increasingly aggressive efforts to expose kids to gender bending performers. End quote. Yes, you heard that cor correct. Taxpayer money is being used to promote this sinful lifestyle. So let's get back to the scriptures to conclude. And we're going to be reading from, instead of Genesis, we're going to be reading from Jubilees chapter 16, 1 through 6. And on the new moon of the fourth month, we appeared to Abraham, Abraham at the terebinth of Mamre. And we talked with him, and we announced to him that a son would be given to him by Sarah his wife. And Sarah laughed, for she heard that we had spoken these words with Abraham, and we admonished her, and she became afraid, and denied that she had laughed on account of the words. And we told her the name of her son, as his name is ordained and written in the tablets of the heavens, Isaac or Yitzhak in the Hebrew. And when he returned to her at an appointed time, she would have conceived a son. And in this month, Yahweh executed his judgments on Saddam and Amora, or Gamora, and Zeboyim, and all the regions of the Jordan. And he burned them with fire and sulfur, just like it's mentioned in Genesis, fire and sulfur, and destroyed them until this day, even as I have declared to you all their works, that they are ex evil and exceedingly wicked. Not a little bit, exceedingly. And that they defile themselves and commit whoring in their flesh and work uncleanness on the earth. And in like manner, Elohim shall execute judgment on the places where they have been, where they have done according to the uncleanness of the Sodomites, like the judgment of Sodom. And that was Jubilee 16, 1 through 6. So, as we can see from this verse and the same passage in Genesis, judgment is coming to this land if repentance doesn't happen. And if you're struggling with this lifestyle, the Most High can deliver you from it. I've seen stories in the past where people have gone down the path of the, this lifestyle I'm talking about in this video, and they were delivered of it. So it's possible. So I hope this was a blessing. If it was, do me a favor, share it. Feel free to leave a comment. I know I'm going to get some.